age and fertility. What is the deal? The message is out that our fertility declines with age, but is age 35 really this fertility cliff for women? What about men? Can they really have babies like Mick Jagger into their 70s? You know, why do we keep learning about this? What does this mean? I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. I am a double board certified OBGYN and reproductive endocrinologist helping people understand age and fertility for almost 20 years. And I'm going to help you understand it in five minutes. If this is the first time you found my YouTube channel, welcome, subscribe so you get my weekly videos learning about all things fertility. I am here to educate. You can find more information at my website, drlaurashaheen.com. There you can find links to Instagram, TikTok, my books that I've written on fertility and miscarriage, and a lot of helpful information. In this video, we are going to understand what the deal is with age and fertility. When you've been caring for people for almost 20 years with experience and maturity, I have learned that it is more important to help my patients understand concepts, not just be thrown charts and thrown facts that they don't have context with. So the message is out that fertility and age are intimately related, but it is not black and white. And there are, of course, people who are in their 40s and mid 40s that can conceive without assistance and have a beautiful baby. But when that happens, we are pretty excited. It's pretty surprising. That happens when someone's in their 20s. We're like, well, yeah, that's expected. So what is the deal and why do people talk so much about age and fertility and think about that and fertility treatments, et cetera? I'm going to really help you understand the concepts because it all comes down to biology and understanding genetics and chromosomes and the difference between eggs and sperm. So bear with me. I'm going to do this very well, but also very quickly. So all of our genetic material is carried on structures in our cells called chromosomes. And we have 23 pairs of chromosomes in every cell in our body. The pairs are one chromosome comes from the egg that we came from, and the other chromosome comes from the sperm that we came from. Now, with reproduction and eggs and sperm, the eggs give half of the chromosomes and the sperm gives half of the chromosomes. But the way that happens in men and women is completely different. In women, we are born with all of the eggs we're going to have our whole life, and the eggs are frozen in a genetic state where they have two copies of each chromosome. One of those copies came from the egg. That we came from and the other copy comes from the sperm that we came from and the eggs are sitting in this genetic state it's called meiosis one if you really want to nerd out and it's when we ovulate whether we're 25 or whether we're 45 that the eggs have to do all of their genetic work and literally get rid of one of the copies of the chromosomes to be ready to fertilize with the sperm the sperm is made every single day and guys make millions of them and so the one sperm that comes along and is very selected by the egg and allowed to get in to try to fertilize, boom, that is where you get 23 pairs of chromosomes. And if fertilization goes well and there's a balanced set of chromosomes, which we call euploid, then that embryo has a really good chance of developing and implanting and becoming a beautiful baby nine months later. Now, if the egg makes a genetic mistake and it hangs on to a chromosome so that there's two and then the sperm comes along. Well, now you've got three. That's triploidy. And that is too many chromosomes. The opposite can happen too. The egg can get rid of two copies of the chromosome so that the resulting embryo only has one copy from the sperm. That's monosomy. This genetic imbalance of chromosomes is the number one reason that embryos do not implant and the number one reason for first trimester miscarriage. So as we age, our eggs age and fewer of them are able to do all of that genetic work. So there is an age factor for sperm. It's just not as dramatic and it doesn't show up as early as it does with eggs and women because men make sperm every single day and it's made ready to go. It's made with half of the copies of the chromosomes. It is not like an egg that's been sitting in the body for 30 years, 40 years, whatever. And then when you ovulate, it has to do all the genetic work and do it correctly in order to fertilize and have a chromosome balance 
balance that will result in a healthy baby. So I can throw facts at you, like when you're in your 20s and early 30s, 25% of early pregnancies end in miscarriage. By the time you're in your 40s, that number is up to 50%. I can throw facts at you, like as the eggs age, there's a lower chance of success with any type of fertility treatment because fewer of the eggs work well. This is why egg freezing is so revolutionary and incredible option for people. Because if you're able to freeze your eggs in your young 30s, you could get pregnant in your late 30s or early 40s with a significantly higher chance of success than if you were using 38 or 42 year old eggs. Now I want to be very clear about something. Just because there's an age issue with eggs and sperm, that does not mean someone that's 45 cannot conceive and have a beautiful baby without intervention. All it takes is one good egg, one good sperm, and all the other parts and variables that have to go together. But even if it's a very low chance of success, there is always a chance. As long as you are ovulating and you've got eggs and you've got sperm and at least one fallopian tube is open and all the parts are there, there's always a chance. But it's important to understand why IVF is not as successful in someone who is 42 years old compared to 32 years old. It is an egg number issue. It's an egg age issue. And don't forget about the sperm. There is an age issue with sperm. It's just not as dramatic. I truly hope that this concept Concept helps you understand rather than just being thrown facts that are set in fear. It's just a nice to understand the why. I hope you learned something today. Be sure and like this video if you learned something. Comment with questions that you have. Be sure and subscribe to this channel so you get my weekly video. And as always, I'm sending you love, luck, and pineapples.